This is a completely breakable replica of an actual airplane engine. It's not just the aircraft engine though, there's also an entire maintenance shop with it. There's some really cool functions in this too, so I'm gonna be building it and seeing how good it actually is. Let's do this. Thanks to Pantasy for sponsoring this video. Even though I was sent this for review, all opinions will be my own. So if something sucks, then I'll let you know. So this is a little closer up. This is the airplane engine and then this is like the workshop around it. So it looks pretty cool. There's all this stuff at the bottom. It's like a little robot guy down here. And if I turn around, you can kind of see all the like the moving features. So is this that grabs the airplane engine with like cranking that? And then there's this thing using a scaffolding technique, which is actually really cool. I've used the same technique to make really long technique things. It's just really fun so that'll be pretty cool to see and you can see the inside of the airplane engine which also looks sick and then if you look right here you can crank this and this will move up and down which i think is really cool so i definitely want to see that in action one thing i did want to mention before i open it up is that this corner right here is supposed to be tucked in there but in packaging it must have made its way out and it's not that big of a deal but it's just kind of weird hanging out like that <laughs> this box is like huge so i have to like lift the camera up to only show the top of it so just cut these and now for the big reveal. These pull-out tabs are just kind of hard to get to. <laughs> oh my. Now I gotta do that again for the other side. I use the back of the knife. There we go. We slide the knife in there. Use that to help push out, boom. Okay, that's one thing I will say. Uh, that box is kind of hard to open, so just be prepared. There's definitely quite a few pieces in there. This thing's like halfway full with just pieces. Instruction manual right here, but let's dump out the pieces. Wow, there's a lot. Look, there's a lot of Technic pieces too is what I'm seeing. There's literally just a bag full of the exact same pin. That's pretty funny. I see a bag 10 on this one, so there must be a lot of bags in here. So let me just organize them and see how many there actually are. While I was organizing these, I found this bag. It's bag five and it's just straight chrome pieces. This has gotta be my favorite bag so far. Okay, so I got the bags organized. So this is the section of bag ones, and then it goes all the way to bag 10, so. That is a lot of parts. Plus there's these beams right here that I showed earlier. And besides the gray pins, there's also a whole bag of black pins. So these are just unnumbered. There's a lot of pieces in the set. I'm not even sure how many pieces are in the set, but I didn't think it was that big of a set. Just flipping to the end of the manual here, there's 419 steps. So this is gonna take a while. But yeah, let's get all this cleared off and open up bag one. Okay, so there's three bag ones here. Just open these up. I have like axles that are dark gray, which Lego doesn't do, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, we still got two more bag one. So there's this one. This one looks like it's got a lot of Technic in it with some gears and things, plus tiles. And this one, this one's like only Technic, it looks like. But one thing that I do notice that's different is look at the Technic beam right here. That is really interesting. So this is an official Lego one and this is Pantasies. So you can kind of see they have like a weird swirly pattern. I don't know what this is gonna show up on camera. And you can kind of see how like half of them are filled in and the Lego one doesn't have any of them filled in. So Lego's on top and Pantasy is on bottom. So you can kind of see the difference there. So yeah, that's something different. And the br their brick separators are just awesome. They're pink, like who else makes pink brick separators? But yeah, let's get building. Here's bag one completely put together. So as you can see, it's like a frame without the top. And there's one spare piece to this little peg. Hopefully it's meant to be a spare piece. There's a crank over here. As I spin the lever down there, it spins the top and it goes all the way through these chains down here to this other side too. This set is definitely really big. But yeah, let's get bag two. Okay, so it looks like bag two is only two bags. Let's open these up, smaller one first. Looks like a lot more Technic. This one is all orange. This must be the top beam if it's all orange. Let's get building. Just finished bag two and this is what it made. It's just like the beam that goes across the top. And there's one spare piece in this one too. So now we only have two spare pieces. Okay, so this sits on top. I just realized that I built this entire side backwards. That gear right there needs to be right there. I gotta take that apart real quick and then hopefully it'll work. Okay, it took a little bit, but I got it fixed. And now it sits on here. Now if I crank it, yes. So I can crank it and move it down and up on this thing. Now it's getting started on the top of the airplane engine, it looks like. So yeah, let's get to bag three. 
Okay, bag three is also two bags. So let's open the, there's a bug. Get, okay, I squished it. Okay, so it looks like this one's just more Technic beams and stuff. Oh yeah, still mostly Technic, but this one's actually fairly small. There's not too many pieces. Uh, so yeah, let's keep building. So this is all bag three is, it's not too much, uh, but it took a while to build because it was all Technic. Uh, but yeah, this is like the very top of the turbine. And as you can see next, we're gonna make the actual turbine. So that's cool. And once again, keeping the trend of one spare piece. So I'll put that in the spare piece box. I had to take out some pins and stuff. And as you can see my finger right there, some of the skin peeled off. Even with official Lego Technic, it still does the same thing. It's just like really tight. That's one thing I like about Technic is how strong it is. So I know that this build won't come apart. So that's good. Okay, here's bag four. It's the usual small and big bag is what I realized. Hi. What is this? Are these like ring pieces? Pretty interesting. But yeah, it looks like the turbine pieces are also chrome in this bag. Okay, there we go. Let me grab those pieces off the floor and then oh, let's get building. Bro, on the floor again. So apparently the last couple of clips I filmed just vanished and they don't exist anymore, but this is the progress I made on the engine so far. So it's starting to look really cool. Let me show you this a little closer up. As you can see, I'm on like bag six now. So I think the footage got deleted for like one of the bags. So it's not too bad, one or two of the bags. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there's like these cool like silver parts to it and it like spins all the way through it. Yeah, so as you can see when I spin this, those gears spin in there too, which is also really cool. One thing I'd like to say is that these gears were rubbing against these pieces. These pieces were supposed to be in between them, like in those spots, but it didn't line up. So it's just preventing them from spinning. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but it was just like grinding against it. So I just took them out. There's another one of those pieces right there. So one of these pieces, and it prevents that gear from moving too. So I honestly have no idea why they're there. But yeah, it still works if you just take them out. So yeah, let me get back to building bag six. Okay, end of bag six, and this thing is definitely looking like an aircraft engine now. It looks really cool. I just keep imagining this giant thing like a giant actual plane. What if they made like a whole plane with like all four of these on it? That'd like be sick. It'd be giant, but that'd be the coolest set. <laughs> but yeah, this thing's like way bigger than I thought it'd be. Yeah, there's three spare pieces. So there's two more rings, a plate, and a peg. So add that to the spare pieces box and Let's move on to bag seven. Okay, so there's only one bag seven and I'm on step 268. So I'm over halfway through, so that's good. But yeah, bag seven, let's open it. So it's the part that goes around right here. So it'll add more bulk to it. So let's build. So yeah, that's the engine done. There's actually some cool features with this that I'll show you later after I finish the set. Now it's on to the thing that goes underneath the engine. Oh yeah, only one spare piece. Okay, so bag eight is two bags. Uh, so it looks like Technic again. Yeah, so it looks like this bag has some rubber pieces in it. So it's tires. And then there's also these rubber pieces, which it's interesting because this is a little bit tougher of a rubber than Legos are. And then same with the tires. So they must use something slightly different there. And it's cool. And then this one, it's like we just got more Technic pins and stuff to hold it all together. So yeah, let's get building. Bag eight is finished and it just builds this like little rolly thing. It's got like office chair wheels is what I think of them as. 
they just swivel around and then you can tow it with the next thing I'm gonna build actually. And this actually closes around the engine, which I'll show you in a little bit. So on to bag nine. Okay, there's three bags in bag nine. One big one. Yeah, so these are all the parts. There's quite a few smaller parts. Let's get building. This is what bag nine made. As you can see, there's the main car and then there's this thing and there's also this little cabinet that holds stuff. But this thing is really cool. I can see right there, which I'll show you in just a second after we finish this build. But yeah, there's actually three spare pieces in this one. I think that's a new record. Plus there's actually four because it comes with more rings. So yeah, this one's got the most spare pieces so far. But now, bag 10, the final bag. So bag 10 is three really small bags and they're all like basic pieces. So this will be a nice finale to the build. There's no Technic, just, I mean, there is some Technic, but like not as much Technic as before. And just mostly basic bricks. I made the smallest hole in that. There we go, look at that. Did the same thing on this one. This one's smaller pieces, so we're good. But yeah, let's finish this build. Okay, so this is what the final bag made. So there's like this desk right here with a computer and a laptop on it with some sticky notes or something because it's like a neon yellow color. And this kind of rolls too. It's got wheels on the bottom. And there's this thing, which is like sort of a robot thing. It reminds me of like an uh, Iron Man robot. It twists all the way around and then it has little wheels on the bottom. And then <laughs> this guy right here has an issue. And you can probably see that this arm is down here. And the reason for that is because there's supposed to be a hollow black stud and I could not find it. I don't know if it's my fault or it's the set's fault, but I looked in spare pieces and lucky enough from one of the previous bags, there's a spare of that exact same piece. So that's good. And now we can put on its arm. So it's a good thing there's spares in this set. But yeah, let's put this all together and I'll show you the set. So these are all the empty bags and there's so many and those have been built into this. It looks really cool. But yeah, there's lots of cool things about this. So let me show you. Okay, so this thing's like giant. Like this is my hand, right? So this engine's like the size of my hand. I mean, my hand can't even like wrap around it. It's like huge. So the first thing you can do is you actually can just remove the airplane engine from this completely. So it just slides out. And now you just have an airplane engine that actually looks sick. But the airplane engine can be opened up and you can like kind of see the inside. Both sides can be open, which is really cool. And like, it looks like a butterfly almost. You can take one of the side panels off and then it reveals the gears on the inside, which spin. These front engine pieces aren't lined up still. It's kind of hard to get lined up. So when this spins, all those gears and things spin in the middle. And then if you want to keep this wing open so it doesn't fall back down, there's these extender things and those come up. They pop right into these holes. So you just lock that in there and then it can't go back down on you so you can have it on display like opened up so that's really cool yeah that all can just be put back together and closed back up and now you don't even know any of that stuff was there one thing i would like to mention though is that this doesn't close fully all the way very easily it tends to pop open sometimes right now it's holding for, together fairly decent but the stand that it's on like i showed you earlier it raises up and down and it's so cool just seeing all of the beams and stuff back here rotating so the trailer is like this, it's actually huge compared to the car up front. But the car is actually cool because it can steer like this and then uh, you know you can like back up or whatever. This blue cage just goes under here. There's a crank back here on this blue thing. And if I crank that, then as you can see, it closed up on the engine. And now if I detach it, then it drops down onto the cart. And now when I zoom this away, it has the airplane engine on it. Putting this back in here, there's a couple accessories. So like I showed you earlier, there's this claw thing and that can just like sit out here, right? And there's a computer and stuff, which looks pretty cool. And that will just go somewhere. Uh, and then there's this one, which is really cool. So this lever right here actually activates the the mechanism to move it up, which I've always tried trying to control these with the lever and I can never get it right. So it's really interesting how they did it with this. There's pieces underneath here that slide up. You can probably tell and it like pushes that beam up and it actually like works fairly well. It like locks when you go all the way up like fairly tight and then it, it's not too hard to push back down. So that's nice. So we just get our robot guy and put him on top of here. If we move this, he should rise up. I don't want him to fall. Okay, there he goes. See, now he's high and now he can get above the aircraft engine. I don't know, I just love playing with this thing. It's so satisfying to play with. And this also has wheels too, so it can 
zoom around a lot of the stuff has wheels what i realized and then there's a the little closet thing but it's just like a couple tools uh, which the robot guy can actually hold too so that's pretty cool let's actually give one to him I'll give him the ski pole. And then he can go and work on the aircraft engine. And I was worried that these arm pieces might come off with the things he put in his hands, but they're actually tight enough that these come off instead of it. So that's actually really nice. And then the interesting thing is that there's also spares of these. I don't know if there's supposed to be this many of these spares. There, I'm guessing there is because there's so many at the beginning. I dropped this box while I wasn't recording and I picked them all up. So I might've lost a couple. So I don't know if it's meant to be three, uh, but I got them all on the set that I know of. And this one's got four. So hopefully I didn't miss any. And uh, that's how many extras are supposed to be. The set holds together. So I must've done something right. So I've been working on the set for the past couple of days and it took a little while to make but the aircraft engine had some very tedious parts with these repeats around here it's just like the same thing like eight times i think is what you have to make but that makes it look really cool and yeah also if you're wondering about piece quality these feel basically like lego like this is the closest brick built brand that i've seen to lego so it's actually really nice quality and none of the pieces in this set had any plastic hanging off or any of that so it's really good quality bricks plus everything is printed there's not a single sticker in this set which is really nice i really love that so overall, I'd say this set is really good. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be too. So yeah, this is a really cool display piece and I gotta find somewhere to put it. But yeah, if you guys wanna purchase your own brick built airplane engine, I'll have a link up here in the corner and down in the description, plus in the pinned comment. So three places you guys can find the link for this. So yeah, that's it for the video. If you wanna check out another video similar to this, I'll have a link up here in the corner and down in the description. But as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell. There was something that I wanted to talk about. What was it? Um. My English girl in an American town. No elevator to the fifth floor. Ah, oh, ring on the buzzer, then you be right down. I wish time would freeze.